Yo guys, what is up? C-Ray back with another video and today we're going to talk about 8 mistakes that you need to be avoiding in calisthenics. Let's get into it. Number one is that you're not training with a structured program and you need a structured program if you want to make good progress in calisthenics. If you're a beginner and you're just starting off, it's not as essential, but if you start training for a couple months, you're going to hit a plateau. So it's best that you do have a structured program or you invest in one. And I do have my own programs in the description if you want to check them out. With a structured program, you learn progressive overload, which is essentially making each session harder than the last one. So whether that's increasing the reps, decreasing rest periods, or increasing the the intensity of an exercise by using progressions. There are more methods of progressive overload that you can do, but these are the main ones. And not having progressive overload in your training, especially when it comes to calisthenics, is gonna lead to stagnation because your exercises are gonna be limited. So in weightlifting, for example, you use progressive overload by upping the weight. But in calisthenics, you're changing the exercise or the progression. Mistake number two, you're doing way too many exercises. When you're highly motivated to work out or you're just starting calisthenics, it is very easy to do way too many exercises just because you want to improve super fast. Trust me, I get it. I've completely been there. However, the problem with this is that when you do too many exercises in the same workout, it can lead to things such as injuries and overtraining and possibly even injuries and we don't want that guys because it's just going to keep you in the same place and worst case actually reverse your whole progress the first problem with doing too many exercises is that it's not going to help you to develop enough to a specific goal so for example if you're trying to learn a skill in calisthenics such as the handstand push-up if you're doing handstand push-up training but you're also doing planche training at the same time that is just going to clash and they're not going to go well together and you're going to really struggle to unlock both at the same time so it's best that you stick to one goal maybe two but don't make them as hard as each other make sure that you're smart with your training and your approach and number two your muscles your nervous system and your body in general requires adequate rest and so if you're not getting that guys then you're just going to be slowing down your progress and you don't want that guys and we most importantly don't want that in my opinion at the very least you need one rest day a week and that is at the very least i'd recommend even more than that but at the least one so if you're really motivated and you really want to train nearly every day then you can do it but just be careful and make sure on your rest day you're really really resting and you're really recovering guys because otherwise it's just going to lead to injuries and other complications that we do want to avoid mistake number three is that you're going to the hard exercises before you master the fundamentals if you guys haven't mastered push-ups pull-ups dips handstands squats and the basic core exercises then you're really going to struggle if you try to learn the more advanced exercises such as the plant for example once you master these and you get them down then you can move on to the more intermediate to advanced exercises but until then make sure you master them and if you don't know if you've mastered an exercise or what it even means to master an exercise that just means that you can do it with perfect form for many reps and once you get these fundamentals down guys then you can work towards achieving more specific goals so for instance if you guys are trying to learn the planche you would be including scapular push-ups planche leans and the tuck planche if you wanted to learn the full planche but you can only start including those things guys if you master the fundamentals number four and i see this all the time is that there's too many changes in your routine so maybe you're working towards a current goal you get a bit frustrated and then you start changing it all up and your plan looks completely different from the one you started off doing it's obviously good to have variation in your training and it's very good to switch it up from time to time but that doesn't mean that you have to switch it up every day or every week at least stick to a routine for a month before you decide to change it or figure out that it's not really working for you too many changes in your routine is just going to lead to uneven progress the likeliness is if you're changing your training regimen too frequently then you're going to be working different muscle groups each time that you switch it up and therefore you're not going to see consistency so as a good general rule follow a training program or a training regimen for a good four weeks 
if not six. And if you don't see any progress or it's just not working for you, as I just said, then you can switch it up after a deload week and you can start doing another training program or you can just up the intensity in your current program. Mistake number six is that you're doing too little. So you're actually not doing enough. You guys have to remember that your muscles will not grow if you don't challenge them. So aiming close to failure to get a good amount of training volume is a good benchmark for calisthenics. You might be thinking that this contradicts with the previous point of overtraining and training too hard, but as long as you just keep it challenging, guys, you don't have to absolutely destroy yourself every single workout. But as long as you keep things challenging and you make it a little bit hard every single workout, then you're going to see adequate progress. And that's what's going to make you progress in bodyweight training. Mistake number six, I think. You're not getting the right nutrition. If you want to see muscle gain, then you have to be eating in a calorie surplus. And I'll put what that is right here. If you want to lose fat, then you have to eat in a calorie deficit. Another thing is, is that you need to be getting in the correct macronutrients. So getting in the proper protein, carbs, and fat that you need for your body. This doesn't mean that you guys have to eat like pro athletes or anything, but you gotta make sure that you're getting in the right amount of protein, carbs, and fat, and overall macronutrients so that you can see progress and results a lot faster in calisthenics. And if you guys are really struggling with what to eat and you really wanna progress fast in calisthenics, then I do have my own nutrition program called the C-Ray Diet, and the link is also in the description. Mistake Mistake number eight is that you have bad recovery habits. You need to be getting the proper amount of high quality sleep every night if you wanna see good results. No matter how hard we train or what we eat, if we're not getting the right amount of sleep, then it's just gonna completely stagnate our progress. I'd recommend you guys on a general basis to get at least seven to nine hours sleep. Obviously, the odd five to six hours here and there is not gonna destroy your progress. Everyone has those nights where you know you can't sleep or you know things just get in the way. But try to aim for seven to nine hours sleep every night if you wanna see good progress. And the last point, and maybe the most important point, is that you're not being consistent enough. Whether you're doing calisthenics, you're lifting weights, or you're just doing anything in life, if you're not being consistent, you're just not gonna see the results, and it's as simple as that. Consistent training builds up over time, no matter if it's daily, weekly, or monthly. If you're consistent with any type of training, even when it comes to calisthenics for this example, then you're gonna see results no matter what. That being said, only one day a week of training, no matter what intensity it is, is probably not gonna be good enough. So you at least wanna be doing twice a week if you're really struggling to find the time to work out and start calisthenics. But also on the other hand, if you're just starting calisthenics, then of course you can try and do one session a week and then gradually up it to twice a week. As long as you're not staying at once a week, then you will see progress. But of course you can start off with one a week if you're a bit nervous and you wanna start off simple. Overall, just make a consistent effort and you're gonna see progress very, very soon. So just to sum up guys, training hard is good, but training smart is better. Calisthenics is an amazing training style, but it's easy to forget the basic principles and fundamentals that you need to learn in order to master your calisthenics progress and start your journey. And these tips not only work for calisthenics, but they work for every single training style. Take a smarter approach to your training and you'll see results in no time. Stay consistent and stay patient. No matter how little you do, progress builds up over time. And if you're really struggling for motivation, then head over to my Instagram because I post every single day on there. And I'm always giving you guys tips, tricks on my stories and my reels of things that you can do in calisthenics to improve your overall body weight training and progress. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like as always and also subscribe for more daily calisthenics and fitness content. We recently just hit 30,000 subscribers and I'm so, so grateful for you guys. I appreciate all the messages and all the support. It does not go amiss. And I'm trying to give back to you guys every single day with daily uploads on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. So if you guys are not following me on other platforms, then make sure you are and I'll put every single one here. Stay healthy, stay safe, and stay consistent. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.